Uh, hello and welcome back. So uh, now we're going to move to the five day forecast uh, part of our application. And as you can see, I have my HTML ready. I'm going to have an input field um, with a submit button. And I'm going to have this skeleton uh, of my HTML, which will take five different days. Uh, and each of them is going to have uh, what day it is. Um, the an icon representing the weather, uh, the max temperature and mean temperature. That's usually what you see in uh, uh, this kinds of applications. But if you want, you know, you can add as many things as you want. I just want to keep it simple this time. Okay, so let me show you uh, my CSS right now. If you would like to copy this, uh, you can pause the video and uh, copy the whole thing. Uh, what I would do, because this is just, uh, uh, this is kind of like dummy content, uh, you're just going to create this one diff first, uh, create all the, everything that is going to uh, fall in here, and then just going to copy it five times, I'm sorry, four times, but you'll see eventually that we're just going to need one div, and we're going to rid get rid of the four copies so it's up to you if you just uh, want to copy this whole thing uh, or not uh, then what I'll be going to be covering is I uh, remember that I told you that uh, there are two ways uh, to build a form uh, the template uh, driven approach and the data driven approach for this example I'm going to be using the data driven approach so um, I'll start the project in the next video, and I'll see you there.